hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys a full day of eating what i eat currently after losing 100 pounds i'm currently trying to build muscle so i'm eating more healthy carbs and i hope these recipes help you guys and you guys get some new ideas please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and enjoy this video I'm already making it guys I forgot to record but here I have some turkey bacon and some zucchini which I'm gonna make more right now I have here three egg whites and I'm letting melt some cheese this is a light Mexican blend cheese it's from Trader Joe's and it's pretty good I just used a little bit maybe like half a serving one serving is eight calories and I'm gonna toast two bread so I got this bread low carb veggie this one's 50 calories per slice I'm not sure if I'm going to be hungry after, so I'm just going to do two for now. Oh, this is a turkey bacon I'm using. It's a cured turkey bacon from Aldi. It's really good. I like that it's really, like, thick. And I'm just probably going to eat one. It's 60 calories per slice, two fats, zero carb, and five protein. And here I have some red bell pepper and zucchini. I'm trying to, you know, start my day with the veggies. And I feel like my body's going to appreciate that. I'm going to cook it with olive oil cooking spray, garlic powder, and sea salt. Whatever veggies I don't eat today or for the breakfast, I'll eat it either later or have it for lunch tomorrow. I just always like having like veggies ready for any occasion. Like you don't know when I'm going to go hungry and you know I got to eat right away because if not, I get in such a bad mood. So, so good and they have so many vitamins here is breakfast i got my two toasts i put avocado in one and then the seasoning from trader joe's if you know you know it's the best ever and then this one i added a low fat um light cream cheese i just use half i didn't use the whole thing this is only 25 calories for the whole thing so this is like 15 calories for that spread i used some blueberries because i always like to have one savory and one sweet i got my veggies here my turkey bacon my egg whites with my cheese i got a celsius because i'm gonna go work out after this maybe like in about an hour and a half or two so here is breakfast meal number one Cheers. Well, I haven't vlogged because I've been super busy. I left basically my home after my breakfast. I was working a little bit, cleaning. And then I went to the mall to get my earrings because as you guys know, if you've been following me, you know that um, it had open. So I got that sewn together and it, it's healed already. So I just got these little earrings because I miss having earrings. That was done and then we, I got a little hungry. So I, we shared a protein bar because we, we were both hungry. I went shopping after, grocery shopping, and I... After that, I've only been drinking this kombucha, which I already finished it, but I love kombucha. It makes my tummy feel super good and it's probiotics and it's really good for your digestive system. So I had that. I'm literally in my house, just sitting in the car trying to get out because for some reason I just love sitting here. I'm gonna put my groceries away and I'm probably meal prep a little bit. And I'm gonna show you guys my groceries before I put them away. I always almost buy the same things, but um, if you haven't watched any of my grocery hauls, I'm going to show you right now. I got a lot of frozen and veggies because I'm always on the go. So I always, you know, want to have veggies ready just to heat up. Got sliced, sliced frozen strawberries for my yogurt bowls, mangoes, bananas, light string cheese. Uh, it's a great snack. I got, <clears throat> what's this? All romaine lettuce. I got beans because this frijolera has been craving jeans. What? This video has been craving beans, so yeah, these are really good. Um, soup potatoes, Walden Farms parking. Oh my god, I can't talk to me. Walden Farms pancake. Okay, Walden Farms pancake syrup. There we go. Calorie free, sugar free, everything free, and it tastes so good. I got blackberries, yogurt, plain on fat cottage cheese, low fat, and unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I also got this chicken breast. I usually don't buy like um me like this but uh you know it's convenient sometimes and some of these reduced fat thin wheat crackers i've also never tried them guys now that i put everything away i'm gonna meal prep a little bit i got here two sweet potatoes cut up and i'm gonna cut this butter oh, not butter and squash this spaghetti squash in half so if you never try this one is it's baked or cooked or microwave whatever um you can make spaghetti from it so it's just a vegetable and i'm gonna show you guys how i do it right so basically, now basically i'm gonna Cut it in half. Be careful because this is really hard. You have to be very careful that it doesn't like, you don't get hurt. Oh, 
So here it is. We're just gonna um, put this here. We're gonna take the seeds out once it's cooked. And all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of olive oil spray to our sweet potatoes in this. A little bit of garlic powder. And a little bit of sea salt, pink sea salt. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 20, 30 minutes, depending how your oven works at 360 degrees. So while that's in there, I'm gonna make some protein banana muffin. I have a recipe already, so I'm gonna link it down below. So I want to take advantage of the oven that's on and make a lot of things at once. I have some chicken defrosting as well. So after that, I went to the gym and had a little workout. And now this is my post-workout meal. I got some tricky meatballs. I bought this at Aldi and they're pretty good. Six meatballs for 160 calories. Not bad. Then this mac and cheese from Trader Joe's is the best. It's reduced guilt, so it's less fat. And for the whole package is 270 calories. But I only had half of that. And um, I got this also for some crunch. And um, here is how I created the spaghetti squash into spaghetti for my meatballs. So all I did was I scraped everything and it just automatically came like noodles. It's weird. But yeah, it has to be really cooked. If not, it's going to be really hard. And you just scrape it all the way till you touch the shell. All right, friends. So here is my little, little snack. I got these crackers, which I tried, and they're pretty good. So I ha I'm i having a, like less than a serving, which one serving is 16 crackers. So I'm only having 10. And yes, you always have to look at the uh, serving size. Um, you might think that it's 130 calories for this whole thing, but it's not. It would be awesome, though. And then I got um, one a serving of this chicken. It's five slices, as you can see right there. I'm having one of this 2% American cheese, half an apple. And that's it. And I got a spark in the water. I don't know why I was craving this, but I made it happen. My little Lunchable. Okay, so it's dinner time. I got here my sweet potatoes that I baked already. I just cut up some lettuce. I don't know if, if I'm going to have like a set on the side or I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I have some chicken breasts here. I already sprayed my pan with olive oil cooking spray. I'll start making something and we'll see what I come up with. All right, guys, so here is what I created. Um, I kind of made like a little salad. I added some feta cheese. I added my sweet potatoes, my chicken breast, and some grilled red onion that I also cooked. And wait a minute, I forgot my avocado. So I added avocado and it made it extra, extra better. So it's just an idea of how you can use your meal prep for your meals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and try these recipes. And I'll see you guys in the next video.